Good morning, fellow pilots. Tony from RC Flyers of Arizona here. I want to show you my new bird here. This is the Sukhoi, the next gen suite. And the reason I wanted to show, put this one and kind of kind of display a little bit is I've looked at all the videos I could possibly find on this bird, and there are none. There are very the only time you see these planes in the as far as on YouTube videos are with these 3D guys who are amazing. They pop it right up off the ground, they hover it. All the stuff that this plane's designed to do, they're all over it. But I wanted to make this a quick video about guys like me who like flying aerobatics, but we're not, our, we're not 3D guys yet. We're working on it, but we needed something that would get us there. I also fly the Ultimate 2, which is made by the same guy, Mike something or other. Um, another wicked, but it's a uh, wicked biplane. I wanted to take the pressure off that one and get something different. I found this guy here, and, and everybody seems to like it. Uh, but again, there are no reviews on the plane itself. And like, for instance, there's no putting together video. So I'll just go through that real quick. Obviously, it's already put together, but it's really simple. It's like all the e-flights. You just put the wings on, put the tail on, the uh, uh, rear stab on, the tail's already on, connect the, the rods here, put the landing gear on, and she's ready to fly. It's that quick. I'm not a great builder by any stretch, um, and I put the th this together in maybe half an hour. I had my flying buddy Bill oversee the whole thing uh, and checked it out. I left a couple of parts off, so we, we fixed it. But anyway, um, and then also a, he also helped me um, tune it to the radio, get everything squared away on that. We did the maiden flight today. I'll show you some video of that coming up. Um, but that was the biggest thing. I wanted to let people know this is, this is a fun plane to fly. I've, flown, I've done two flights on it. And you don't have to carve up the sky in 3D mode at one foot off the ground. You can fly it like a regular plane. You can do your, all, all the other things you want to do up high. I can hover it, but I hover it at about 50 to 100 feet. I'm working on coming down lower, but it's a good transition plane for as you get into 3D. It's not total 3D. It's, they call it an intermediate aerobatic plane for intermediate pilots. And I would agree with that. Um, two flights on it's all we did. The first one, as per tradition, my uh, good friend Bill, pilot Bill, um, flew it for me. I videotaped the first one, and then in, about halfway through, he handed me the controls, and I took over and landed it. Uh, I flew the second one. I've had it only on the very basic mode. I, I don't have it in the radical mode, 3D mode, whatever you want to call it yet. Uh, but it, and it flies real great as a regular plane. I'm looking forward to doing all those things. But that was the big thing I wanted to say, because there are no videos on it. It's an easy build to put together. You don't have to fly it in 3D. It flies great as just a regular plane it, in doing all kinds of aerobatics. From what I can tell, just a couple of flights on it. But I'm going to learn with this plane and, and uh, get into the 3D thing as we get closer. Never be that good, but I can do my Harriers and I can I can do the stuff I like to do with them. And I'm, I'm improving on it. So that was the big that's the big deal for this one here. So we will uh, cut now to some flying and uh, we'll get back to you in just a minute. There it is, the Sukhoi, brand spanking new, getting ready for Bill to do the main flight just because we don't break tradition here at AZ Flyers of Arizona. This plane is awesome. I have no idea if I can fly over this shit. We're gonna give it hell today on a cloudy day with a slight drizzle. All right, disaster avoided. We did not put the clip on the elevator. And while I was showing off the throw of the elevator, it came off right there that sucker right there thank god it came off in the bed of the truck would have been one short maiden all right so we are thinking we're okay now we're gonna put the lid on and uh <clears throat> just hope for the best okay bill flying the sukhoi first flight maiden flight hopefully we got it all tuned in right there she is all right, Bill, anytime you're ready, make us proud. Well, it flies. Making a few adjustments on the radio, I hear.
Yeah. What do you think? Chase the bird. Chase the That's bird. That's not too bad. Okay. I see the bird. Oh, there it is. He's too far away. Rich, don't encourage him. <laughs> That's when you need your 30 millimeter cannons. <laughs> All right, main okay, flight of the Sukhoi. You know, it just looks scary to me. The ones are a little sensitive, not too bad. It just, and this is, a, is it still in its lowest thing? Yeah. So it's in its most... Rudder is really strong still, so it doesn't take much rudder. All right. But even with it on low... It's squirrely. Yeah, damn, look at that. So flip it around a little bit, let's see what you feel. Okay, so we'll uh, bring it along. Holy moly. That was still on low rates. Well, it makes me glad we got that damn uh, elevator fixed. <laughs> We'd have lost it right there. <laughs> All right, let's flip it to high real quick. High rates. Balls to the wall, high rates. So just a roll. Nice. And then we'll go to medium rates. Medium rates. Sweet. Just keep playing it, man. You're doing fine. Okay, Tony. Hand the radio over. All right, hold on. Okay, Rich, come here. Okay. Oh, shit. That's on low. Put back on low. So your ailerons are pretty sensitive on low still. I'm going to fly um, like this for the first month. Get, get a little bit of height again, back up, so that you have a little room, and then play with the elevator a little bit, see how sensitive it is. Yeah. Right? All right. Play a little bit with the rudder. The rudders still have, have lots of, lots of kick, so the rudder is really Feels pretty good and low, actually. I would probably go down a little way further. Yeah. If you want to come in. Long final? Yeah, take a long final. Come in with a little bit of speed, make sure you're pretty low to the ground before it really Ooh. Sure does, doesn't she? Well, there she is. Good landing. Holy Jesus, holy Jesus! <laughs> That's one radical son of a bitch! Okay, I'm a little nervous. I admit it. A little scared. Can I just do this for a while? Okay. Do you want a, uh, are your ailerons a little too sensitive? Do you want to turn them uh, down? I don't know. I, I just got to get used to however it is. Okay. Don't want to worry about it. All right, here we go.
I might, oh, there we go. I lost you there. You know, the pucker factor on this thing is right there. Finger on the padding This plane is, it's fast, but it's not really, it's not meant for speed. No, it's not. It's agility, man. It's designed to just whip around. Sometimes when I get a new plane, I am. for the day on this one. Damn. Shaking in my boots. What? Was that a five dollar plane? Yeah, yeah, five bucks. Five dollar! <laughs> and then you won't call me, seller boy! So there you have it. So the landings I'm still working on, obviously I only got two down, but uh, I fly the Valiant, which I love that plane. It's probably my favorite every plane, everyday plane to fly, but that thing floats like a butterfly. This one does not float like a butterfly. You gotta fly it all the way down. So you gotta work on the landings as you can tell. But other than that, so far so good. Thanks for watching everybody. The Sukhoi, E-Flight Sukhoi, it's a good plane. Check it out. It's not too expensive and uh, it's, uh, it's right there when you're trying to take the next step but you don't want to get a total radical 3D bird. Thanks a lot guys, have a good day.